Hey everybody, Sean Stepinski at the Habaker Corporation. We want to talk to you today a little bit about hard start kits, and they're not always necessarily a hard start kit. Like here, they're marked as a compressor saver. We really like the 521 company. A lot of these hard start kits are nothing more than a capacitor or a PTC device, a soft boost, something like that. But when you buy, and they come in different sizes for the units, when you buy a 521 compressor saver, uh, you know, hard start kit, it is actually a potential relay and a start capacitor pre-wired. And when I say they're pre-wired, you only have to hook up three connections and on the back is the wiring diagrams. It shows that, you know, one wire goes to uh, line one, the other two wires go across the capacitor, depending if you've got a dual or a single capacitor. You know, so they're very easy to wire. Everything else on the relay is pre-wired. They do make a large difference in startup of the compressor. If you've got long line applications, you need an extra boost on the compressor. You want your startup amperage to be lower. You've got light dimming in the house. You know, so uh, there's a lot of reasons that you will find one to be beneficial, you know, to a homeowner and help protect the compressor. Uh, you know, you don't put as much strain on it when starting up. And uh, I think you'll find it uh, to be an excellent product. We are going to demonstrate that here in about two minutes because we're going to take this one. We're going to unbox it, uncrate it, unlift it up, whatever you want to call that. We're going to go find a live unit and hook this up and give you a demonstration. Okay, so now we're back out. So we have a live unit here, and we're gonna show you uh, what it looks like before and after with a compressor saver installed. So what I have here, come on over here and take a look. Over here, I put the amp probe, and I use amp probe, but I know this ain't an amp probe. It is a you know amp meter, but you're gonna see it's on zero right now. The unit is live. I'm gonna start it up, and what we're gonna look for is the startup amperage. And remember what that is when we start it up. And I am going to bypass a little bit because uh, the sake of the video. So uh, don't try this at home. Ready? We're going to start it up. So you saw the amperage went up to about 23 amps on startup and then drops down to a normal. So that startup amperage is when it gets really high is when you got a lot of refrigerant to push against. You got a long line application. You got a high separation. Uh, could be low ambient, could be uh, transfers on the pole, could be a little bit low voltage, uh, light dimming in the house. All that stuff puts a strain on the compressor on startup. The lower we can make that, the better it's going to be. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to attach this 521, and we're going to do the same test again to show the difference. So I put the 521 kit in. There's only three connections. So it is the compressor, common, and down here on the load side of the contactor is L1. So I'm gonna do a demonstration. Last time we saw 23 amps on startup. We're gonna see what the new one does. 13 amps. So literally we, we cut it in half on our startup on the amperage. So this one with the 521, we went from 23 to 13 amps on startup. That's gonna save on the compressor. That's gonna stop some of the light dimming and that's going to help out on the units and the longevity uh, of the unit and the compressor running and keep the electric bill down a little bit. Hope you enjoyed that video. Have a great day.